Okay, welcome back. Uh, Steve and I are back here getting ready to begin work on, well, I'm gonna begin work on uh, getting these saws in place. I'm and... still on a quest to find potatoes. <laughs> a truly grand and epic quest. It um, is, uh, far off lands, unseen places. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Back to hiding in holes from wolves. Yeah, well, you know what? I still have to do that. Those things are vicious. I, of yes, course, they are. did not think to leave myself a way out of this hole, but... Ooh, and I really don't want to have dirt there if... When I fire the saw up, that would be a tragedy. All right, I'm just gonna swim out of here. Go in the other entrance. So I think I'm gonna pr do the preliminary work of, on the uh, power for these six saws using dirt instead of gearboxes. And I can move things around without any risk or cost. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to argue with that plan. Mm-hmm. This is powering this many gearboxes is one of the hardest puzzles I've in the I've ever had to work with. And it's a pain. I just gotta remember how I did this. It was a there was tricks to it. Let's see, did I do this right? I think I did. Oh, off by one. That would have been perfect if that had worked out. Hey, you know what? It can work out because I can just move the water wheel. That's an easy solution. You know you're playing a weird game when moving the water wheel is the easy solution instead of well, moving just about anything. Okay, so we move that there. So, another night cowering in a hole there, Steve? Yep, almost done. I hear everything dying. Picturing what you're doing in my head, I think you could probably pull it off with 13 gearboxes. Um, yeah, I, I think Bare so. minimum. Yeah, I think I think. Um, yeah, it's it's the whole U bay U shaped uh, connection connecting to try and get all of the harder to access axles uh, powered. Yeah. All right, so those go up by three. I've of course. If you also... start with your water wheel above or below, and it... then yeah, you need one shaft going down one and one going down two, and ooh, hey, grasslands. Cool. Yeah. A village. Nice. Fingers crossed. One, two. It's just easier to plan all this with the uh, using um, <laughs> dirt blocks. This is working really nicely because I'm not having to worry about orientation of the silly things. All I have to do is worry about connectivities. So that's three. And then we take that one straight down. And then we can get that one out of the way. This would appear to be a village with no farm. Does that even happen? Uh, I've heard of such things. Um, they are spoken of in hushed tones. Um, yeah. That, that sucks. sucks. This is a huge village, though. It's 
Much bigger than the last one. But no farms. But no farms. Dad, you've been robbed, man. You have been horribly, horribly robbed. Oh, but there are deep, scary holes to death with skeletons shooting at me from them. Hmm. That is not good. If I do... Yeah, so the hardest part is these middle two. I've actually got everything else in because of the uh, whole uh, even odds thing with uh, gear boxes. I need to offset this pair. So you... Hmm, I may have uh, boxed myself into a small corner here with one of them. Let's see. This guy wants to sell me apples. Oh, well, there's there's where we get our apples now. Hmm. Actually, this is a really big village. Actually, there are a lot of villagers here. Hmm. Interesting. If I do that instead. That will give me the room to maneuver these stupid things out of here. Because they are crowded. And this is annoying. Hmm, but I might be it is a village of butchers. There are many animals here. And lots of people wanting to buy and sell meat. Hmm, interesting. is very interesting. Okay. Actually, there might be an easier solution to this. I think I have an idea. I had 16 to start, so I'm gonna. It's gonna be. I have 16 of these things. Come on. Let me get that axle. There we are. in here anyway, so I'm going to carve out a bit, I think. I take both of these that way. Take you down by one. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. The hardest part I'm finding is getting the right side and the, or that middle piece, the middle guys out of here. Okay. Powering six is an interesting challenge. Yeah, anytime you got adjacent things to power, it's a little tricky. I think I have found the solution. I'm just trying to find solutions that use minimal gearboxes too, which fortunately just means using more axles. Let's 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I'm up to twelve. So where am I gonna put this one? That's all six that would, I think that will power all six of them. The interesting question will be, can 18 gearboxes do this? I can't really tell, but I have 18 to start. So that one goes like that. That one faces down. Over. Over. You're powering them up. Using this one. Cool. Interesting. Maybe a more efficient solution, but this is a funk. This is working. How many did you think that could be done with? Uh, thirteen, I think. Well, I used. Let's see, a couple more than that. I think. I think that's all six powered up. Um, I used fifteen. But I had did have a constraint with uh, not being able to go up through the ceiling up the place. I was constrained on one axis, so that can make things a little difficult. It'll do for now. I still have three left, which is cool. I neglected to bring a lever, so. That's weird. One, two, three, four, five, six, looking good. I guess the other thing I could do while I'm building is just put, uh, just seal the floor up. Well, that'll only work until I actually turn, get this system going. But, hey, there we are. That's just get the uh, XP collection and uh, the rudimentary collection system in place, and we'll have, we have the draft of a mob farm in place. Cool, eh? Good stuff. Yeah. retreated to their homes for the night. They are now barricaded in. They will. And should be secure. I'll just lock myself in this house. And, and all will be free well. to be safe.
cool. And I think when daylight gets here, I'll take one little scope around the rest of the grasslands and see if there's another village. Cool. That's perfect. The distance that this water travels is just exactly right. Man, I couldn't have planned that better if I'd planned it. <laughs> I didn't plan it, just in case you're wondering. Planning's overrated. It it helps. I did sit down and actually design the mobs, the actual mob system itself, um, with some fairly significant care. Okay, there's the water stream. Oh, you stop. Oh, a lightning storm. Isn't that special? That is special. That is a special kind of... Oh, crap. That's what it is. Now then, if I do that right there and put our first hopper... Well, that's... Well, powering that first hopper, the soul sand hopper, is as easy as just running a single axle off of the... Uh, um, base the main system. That I couldn't have planned better. <laughs> that is too cool. That that's just perfect how that worked out. So that'll become our XP dropper right here in the interim. Everything else will go into a series of uh, a short chain of hoppers here, and that will uh, that will be the beginnings of our mob system. Well, after I, you know, do the useful thing like putting a uh, <laughs> moss spawning pads up there. Yeah, little things like that. Yeah, details, details. Oh man, there's a zombie survival horror movie going on out there. Oh yeah? It was a dark and stormy night. I oh. see six zombies crowding around where the door would be if it wasn't buried in dirt. Well, those villagers are sure lucky you're there. Yep. Of course, you know, the if zombies... If I wasn't there, wouldn't be zombies. Yeah, I know, I was just, just thinking that. Whoa. Um... I think so. I think lightning just struck above my head. It's a good thing I'm uh, underground here. Okay. Funny enough, the presence of those villagers is saving all the local wildlife. The cows aren't getting killed because the zombies are too busy looking at houses. Oh, that's 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 kind of funny. That's really funny, actually. Priorities, guys. I like your priorities. Those are good priorities. Okay. Pull that block out right there. And item collection is a go. Let's see how long that lasts before we, uh, you know, overflow and... Yeah, it's nothing special, but it will do the job. And that's really all I'm concerned about at this instant. So, next thing is to build some spawning pads and start you see how far those uh, that box full of uh, vine traps I've made goes.
it's going to take 100 cobble 100 cobblestone per floor to build the spawning pads in one tower. Yeah, I guess it would, wouldn't it? Five by five, four of them. Yeah. Yep. There we are. Of course, now I can't get down there. That was stupid of me. Oh, there's a creeper. Boy, it's uh, actually really, really intimidating out there right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's not and much. Now I'm, now I'm hearing Enderman too. Perfect. Huh. Exciting. Very exciting. Put this very expensive stuff back in a box here. So yeah, I've got a few vine traps, as you'll see on the video. I have two-thirds of a uh, small chest filled right now. Which is a start. I'm going to need a lot more than that, but it's a start. Let's see if I get rid of all of the... the valuables. Oh, Enderman is not happy about the state of the universe. No. Something oh, about those zombies is a villager. I wonder if he spawned or if he's one that got caught outside. I think they spawn. So, take that for what it is. Oh, crap. Double crap. That was unfortunate. That was almost disastrous, but it was definitely unfortunate. That is definitely a king of poor planning event right there. What happened? Walked out a door without a sword in hand. There was a creeper out there. And a squid. It was just all kinds of not well planned. Nearly suffered death by complacency. Yep. That would be a very good way of putting it. Yeah. I'm just going to get the first uh, level of spawning pads in place here quick. So that uh, viewers can see exactly what it looks like. And then uh, I think I'm going to cut the video because this is not going to be exciting to watch. It will be markedly less interesting than the uh, um, <laughs> yeah, it won't be nearly as interesting as the uh, uh, time lapse was. I think that's going to turn out pretty good. There's always something about watching the world melt away. All right, so. Three by three. So this is the corner of one of the spawning pads right here, which we're going to build out of cobblestone. And the pad is going to be one, two, three, four, five by two, three, four, five. The best part is the uh, I don't even have to worry about catching the dirt as I uh, carve my bridges out of here. It's all just getting swept down and stuck in a hopper. Yep. That's how I uh, worked the last one I was building, too. Five. I mean, the way this thing is currently set up, it is going to be absolutely worthless during the day, but... That's okay. That's pretty much the way it works out until you put a roof on the place. Yeah, pretty much. And I am not planning on having a working roof on the place. I'd rather have some 
light filtering down in here during construction. Safer time to work on it. Yeah. I mean, I could just put caps on the roof, but I'd have to be reinstating and removing the roof every time I add a new floor. That would just be a pain. So. And the reason I put these 3x3 three three, uh, gaps instead of two wide gaps for uh, mobs to fall down was so that... Uh, Spiders don't get caught on the edges. It's not as efficient as it could be, but honestly, it's uh, probably going to be worth the trouble to uh, do it that way. Sun comes up and continues to rain. I'm still trapped in a house by an enormous horde of zombies. Yeah, I guess they'd spawn in uh, extra large numbers out there, wouldn't they? Oh, it is. I'm looking at about six outside of the building, just out my window. There's at least three more out another window. Why don't you take a screenshot? Yeah, that's just zombies. <laughs> Why don't you take a screenshot and send it to me, and I'll uh, throw it up in front of the uh, video right here. So people can see just how terrifying your uh, situation is right now. I'll try and get one once I see a whole bunch of them in one place again. They're all kind of wandering. Yeah, they do that, don't they? And I hear those crazy villagers trying to open the doors. Doors! Doors! Place the outer edge vine traps from the edge. actually going to have a one floor spawning trap built and working barely at night. I suppose that's something, isn't it? That's a start. Yeah, so in case anybody's wondering, that's a lot of vine traps there. <sighs> okay. Whoops. I really should have brought all of my uh, a bunch more stone brick with me. That was a waste of time. Well, I tunneled my way out onto the roof and built myself a stairway up, and I think I got a picture of about ten zombies crowded around three separate buildings. Nice. And then a spider chased me back inside. Yeah. And the sun comes out in massive death. Oh yeah, yeah, here we go. The let the burning commence. Oops. This is uh, 
its fortress, its craziness. Okay, and then we add a two wide ring of uh, vine traps around the edge. Because I want spiders to be able to actually, to, I want spiders to actually watch it walk off the edge. I had one vine, one mob trap I designed. It got uh, clogged with spiders because there was nowhere for them to actually walk into the trap. So they jam up the whole system and eventually take up all the spawning slots in the area. That really sucked when I discovered that. That's rude. Yeah. Spiders. I just about got... I think it'll be visible on the time lapse. I just about got annihilated by a uh, baby spider while I was starting in on the jungle section. I haven't finished it yet, but the jungle section has at least started. Uh, it's going to take a lot more work to rip the uh, mountainside down there to water level. Because I need to at least get water source blocks around the edge of the uh, mob system itself to mirror these uh, this beautiful water stream I've got here. I sure hope an axe can break these. Yes, it can. Go be the first item in my mob collection. No, wait, there's already dirt blocks in there. Never mind. Hilarious. So that is the gist of it. It's uh, that's one spawning floor built, and then there will be another pad like that every two floor, a two level gap, and then another pad, a set of pads. Should work quite nicely. Hmm. Uh, anyways, um. At this stage, I think we're on to the less exciting part, because now I have to repeat this a few dozen times. So, let's uh, wrap her up and uh, call her a night. Thanks for joining me, Steve. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I'm looking at a really big grassland, so I don't have enough time to explore it right now, so... Next time. Next time. All right. Have a good night. Good night.